EM is just about to join us in this room. Can I please request everyone to take their seats? Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the ninth edition of the Global Technology Summit 2025, organized by Carnegie India and the Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India. I am Shruti Sharma, a fellow at Carnegie India and chief coordinator for the Global Technology Summit. It is my real pleasure to be with all of you today as we begin this ninth edition of the summit, one that has grown into a global platform for shaping the future of technology and policy. Over the years, GTS has evolved in both scale as well as ambition. This year, it takes on a renewed sense of purpose through our theme, Sambhavna. At its heart, Sambhavna is all about possibility, but not just any possibility. It's about unexplored ideas, emerging voices, and creative problem solving that responds to the urgency and complexity of our times. This theme also reflects a shift in how we think about who participates in shaping the future, welcoming new perspectives, new formats, and new kinds of collaborations. This year, many of our sessions will feature voices you may not have heard before. Practitioners, researchers, tech builders, and policy makers from around the world. This diversity is deliberate because breakthroughs often come from conversations that bring different worlds together tech and policy, research and practice, ambition and experience. We have also thought carefully about how the summit feels itself, how people engage, whether it's flexible formats for discussion or a wide range of food options. We hope you'll notice the effort we have put into creating this environment that's open, comfortable and engaging for everyone. Before we begin, just a few housekeeping notes. For the in-person audience, please take your seats 10 minutes before the beginning of each session. During Q&A segments, we ask that you raise your hands and a member of our team will bring a mic to you. Please keep your mobile phones, tablets, and laptops in silent mode to avoid any disruptions. We encourage you to use social media platforms to drive the conversation forward. Please use the hashtag Global Tech Summit and follow us at Carnegie India on X, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Facebook. If you need any assistance or have any questions, our staff wearing summit badges are always available to help. With that, I'm delighted to officially open GTS 2025. Let's begin with an opening video. Video, please. This event has been an outcome of a productive partnership between the Ministry of External Affairs and Carnegie India. It is aimed at addressing an issue that is increasingly central to international relations, the role and impact of technology. In 2016, the year that we were founded, Dr. S. Jay Shankar, the current external affairs minister, had this idea where he said, look, we require some kind of a policy bridge that connects technologists, diplomats, venture capitalists, academics, and experts all under one roof.
AI applications can open new vulnerabilities in nuclear command and control and communications. India's position is not to overly obsess and demonize AI uh, and look at this only through the prism of safety and trust. It's for developing countries to not only catch up but to leapfrog um, more developed countries, we need to be able to leverage the use of um, emerging technologies. India's own story is not going to be similar to possibly even China's. No partnership will be more consequential uh, to the future than that of the United States and India. We don't want to be closed into someone else's proprietary system. So it is very important for us to support and develop the ecosystem based on our model. We cannot get the next billion people into the transacting economy unless we close the access barrier. Unless you have a collaborative conversation, the intelligence across as a network will not emerge. And the quote of the day for me was, what works at scale is different from scaling what works. What was born out of a seed of an idea that said that henceforth technology diplomacy is going to take center stage has actually come true. This summit is an extraordinary event that connects technology trends in India with technology trends from every corner of the globe. Every time I come here, the discussions are on technology that are very relevant. I think GTS is more important today than it has ever been in the past. Competition, innovation, transparency, and empathy. That's the answer to all tech policy problems. As a wise person once told me that even if technology firms are not interested in geopolitics, geopolitics are certainly very interested in technology. Dr. S. Jashankar, Honorable Minister of External Affairs, Your Excellencies, GTS speakers, and distinguished delegates, good morning and welcome to the GTS 2025. It is our continued honor to host the GTS with the Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India. This is the ninth GTS. It was born out of the creativity and foresight of the current minister and others, including the founding director of Carnegie India, Professor C. Raja Mohan. We have strived to keep the GTS outcome driven. This is a four day GTS. We spend the last two days in closed door settings, debating creative new pathways for cooperation where possible across critical and emerging technologies from representatives from over 45 countries, global technology firms, thinkers and scholars from every nook and corner of the universe. We've thought hard about this year's summit theme, Sambhavna. It translates to promise, possibilities, opportunity. In several discussions though with colleagues from around the world, many have said that this is an odd phrase for this point in time in life. Why Sambhavna is a question that we've been asked constantly. Where is the promise when the global order is breaking? I've repeatedly been told. Yet, when sitting across the table in India with experts and decision makers from across the world to discuss the future of AI for instance, the words promise and opportunity are used in repeat. Life-changing technologies tested at scale and cost explains a part of this optimism. But the other, op other portion of the positivity, I believe, has to do with an unsaid and unstated ambition to make the most of this moment in global change. Innovate is the crying call for those working on space, semiconductors, AI, DPI, cyber technologies, 
and in our policy architectures. As India's strategic technology journey evolves, so has the GTS. Last year, we spoke of alternative ways to deploy DPI. This year, we have in the audience those countries that are implementing this new conceptual logic. The last time at GTS, speakers were exercised over the staying power of the United States in its commitment to a new technology relationship with India. Currently, a new US-India framework called Trust is in the works. We have spent a considerable amount of time on this framework over the last two days. From AI to pharma and nuclear cooperation to defense, the research-led policy work done at the GTS and done by many of you seated in this room will be baked into the Trust framework to be launched sometime soon. Last time at the GTS, we queried about the ambition behind the EU-India Trade and Technology Council. This year, we gathered a time where sheer geopolitics appears to have pushed both the EU and India into a new verve to deliver on the promise of cooperation. We very much hope